For my food delivery app, you will start off on the loading page, which will automatically take you to step one of three. Um, you can enter your user details and gives you an example of what you should write. Your address details, continue. Step two of three, your card details, you can save your card, um, drop down. You can either search your address or use your save address. So for the user testing, I've set up for KFC to go all the way through to the checkout. So we'll click on KFC, uh, it'll give you combo meals, has all the different meals, like just some mock-ups, and then they'll be clicking on the Zinger stacker combo. Add that. They can choose small and Pepsi. Add to cart. They can also add a discount. So we'll add the free delivery. So now that's added, they can no longer enter that and the delivery has been taken off. Place order, driver is 20 minutes away, just for the sake of time, quickly flows through for the user to see how it would work. Then they can either click yes, I love it or no, I'm not happy. We're going to go with no, I'm not happy. So what they can do here is they can enter their reason as to why they're unhappy with their order. They can upload an image of their order and they can write a detailed comment below. Submit. And then they will get an email with either a refund, a discount, whatever the outcome is of their complaint. Return home will take them back to the home page. So another way of also getting to KFC, so if you search it, take you to the KFC page. And we'll go through again and um, this time, say we are happy with our order. So yes, I love it. Bring up a thank you page and a return home page. You can also enter into your profile. It has a few different options in there. And there's also deals. So you can enter a discount code, which is here. Or like, for example, whatever the code is, submit that. It will give you your 50% off. So it's added in the code, which would come either from emails or a pop-up, whatever it may be. And then you choose your discount in your checkout section like we did in the first step. And that's how the app works.